is Jaya Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to expand, not expand. We are going to discuss a problem from exponential series. Okay, problem. Show that 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 plus 2 by 2 factorial plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square by 3 factorial plus so on equals to e into e minus 1. So, so we are given three terms right let t1 equals to 1 by 1 factorial t2 equals to 1 plus 2 by 2 factorial and t3 equals to 1 plus 2 plus 2 square by 3 factorial okay so if you notice in the second term and third term the denominator you are having two factorial so, if you are having 2 in the denominator, the power of 2 will be 1. The last term, the power of the last term will be less than the number in the denominator. See here, you are having 3 factorial, right? And the power of the last term is 2, which is exactly less than 2. So, likewise, we can write for Tn, right? For nth term, 1 plus 2 plus... 2 square plus so on plus 2 power n minus 1 by n factorial. Okay. So, if you substitute n equals to 3, you will get 3 factorial. And the last term will be 3, 2 power 3 minus 2. 2 power 3 minus 1. Sorry, not 2. 3, 2 power 3 minus 1 equals to 2 square. Right. Likewise. If you substitute n equals to 2, you will get 2 factorial and the last term will be 2 power 2 minus 1 which is equals to 2 power 1. Okay. We know that sum of powers of 2 for k equals to 0 to n equals to 2 power n plus 1 minus 1. Okay. So now we can take 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 1 plus 2 by 2 factorial plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square by 3 factorial plus so on plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus so on plus 2 power n minus 1 the nth term right by n factorial can be written as summation 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus so on plus 2 power n minus 1 by n factorial for n equals to 1 to some n or not n. You can consider infinity. Okay. So, if you substitute n equals to 1. Okay. Let it be. So, this can be written as summation n equals to 1 to infinity. See here in the numerator you are having sum of powers of 2. Okay. If we use this formula say. Put a k equals to 0. 2 power 0. You put 1. K equals to 1. 2 power 1. 2 square plus so on plus up to n terms. Right. So you can put 2 power n. So you can consider 2 power n as the last term. Which is equals to 2 power n plus 1. Minus 1. 2 power 0 is 1. Plus 2 power 1 can be written as 2. Plus 2 square. Plus so on. 2 power n equals to. 2 power n minus. Sorry. 2 power n plus 1. Minus 1. Okay. If in case. If in case of. 1 plus. If you consider n equals to n minus 1 
here we are having last term of power n minus 1. So you could write it as 2 power. Now replace n by n minus 1. Then you will get n minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. So this equals to 2 power n minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled. So you will get 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus so on plus 2 power n minus 1 is equals to 2 power n minus 1. Okay. So now replace 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus so on plus 2 power n minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1 by n factorial. So this equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity 2 power n minus 1 by n factorial. So in the numerator you are having two terms and in the denominator you are having one term. So you can split the total expression into two terms. So you could write it as summation n equals to 1 to infinity. 2n by n factorial minus 1 by n factorial. So you could write it as summation n equals to 1 to infinity 2 power n by n factorial minus summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n factorial. Okay. So now Since you are having summation n equals to 1 to infinity, right? You are having summation. So you can substitute for n equals to 1 to infinity for the first, I mean for these two terms. So you will get 2 power n by 1 factorial. Uh, sorry, 2 power 1 is 2. And 2 square by 2 factorial, if you will put n equals to 2 plus 2 cube for n equals to 3, 2 cube by 3 factorial, for n equals to 4, 2 power 4 by 4 factorial, plus so on, minus, here, you are having 1 by n factorial, so for n equals to 1, you will get 1 by 1 factorial, for n equals to 2, 1 by 2 factorial, for n equals to 3, 1 by 3 factorial, for n equals to 4, 1 by 4 factorial, and press so on. Okay. Since we have e power x equals to one plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus so on, right? So here if you put x equals to 2, you will get e square equals to 1 plus replace x equals to 2. 2 by 1 factorial plus 2 square by 2 factorial plus 2 cube by 3 factorial plus so on. Okay, so if you check these two terms with this formula, you need 1 to use e squared. So what I am going to do is, I am going to add and subtract 1 here. So I could write it as 1 plus 2 power 1 by 1 factorial plus 2 square by 2 factorial plus 2 cube by 3 factorial plus so on. I have added 1, right? 1 minus 1 equals to 0, which remains the same. So that I am adding 1 and now I am going to subtract 1 minus. So I will get minus 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. Okay. So I could write this.
is 1 as 2 power 0 by 0 factorial or else I can leave it like this. Okay, I'll take this 1 inside the bracket. So, I'll get 1 plus 2 by 1 factorial plus 2 square by 2 factorial plus 2 cube by 3 factorial plus so on. Again, here I'm taking this minus 1 inside the bracket. So, I'll get minus into 1. Minus into 1 is again minus 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, plus 1 by 3 factorial, plus so on. Okay. So, this equals to, you could write it as, so you are having 1 plus 2 by 1 factorial plus 2 square by 2 factorial plus 2 cube by 3 factorial plus so on which is equals to e square. So we are going to replace it with e square minus. If you substitute x equals to 1 we will get e power 1 which is e equals to 1 plus x by 1 factorial that is 1 by 1 factorial plus x square 1 square by 2 factorial plus x cube 1 cube is 1 again you'll get 1 by 3 factorial plus so on okay see you're having 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on equals to e so now you can replace it with e so you're having e square minus e so that you can uh, Take e common, then you'll get e into e minus 1, which is the required one. Okay. So, therefore, 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 plus 2 by 2 factorial plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square by 3 factorial plus so on equals to e into e minus 1. This completes the problem. Okay. So, we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.